Since 1946, Italians have been united by the Constitution of the Italian Republic, a series of duties, laws, and fundamental principles which apply to all citizens. But since a bill in favor of the legitimate impediment notion was approved in Congress last February, there has been a lot of debate in the country, not to mention enthusiasm for the color purple. Many protesters in Rome's People's Square on Saturday would argue that laws are being custom-made to protect Silvio Berlusconi's best interests and not their own. No, no, absolutely not. I do not agree with the bill at all. We are all equal before the law. If a person is called upon to justify his actions, they have to present themselves before a judge and not escape or create laws that prevent from facing judgment. Purple has come to symbolize the defense of the Italian constitution as well as an anti-Berlusconi stance. And while this politician refrains from wearing purple, he has harsh words for the premier. It is one of the many measures to help save the prime minister from facing justice. This is unacceptable. We are in a democratic country where the laws are equal for all. Berlusconi thinks this is true for everybody except for himself. The Lodo Alfano law was the government's last attempt at granting legal immunity to the four highest political offices in Italy, but was declared unconstitutional in October 2009 after one year in force. Now, this new law would allow Berlusconi to be excused from court cases against him in order to attend official commitments. Lots of effort for an innocent man, says this sarcastic protester. Everybody knows he's guilty, including himself. Otherwise, he would not go to such great lengths to protect himself. But government officials say it is a necessary measure to defend the PM against courts. They apparently discount the significance of the PM's appointments when asked to reschedule hearings. Mr. Berlusconi told a rally in the northern city of Turin that the prosecutors and judges were waging a subversive political campaign to bring down his government and compared them to the Afghan Taliban. On Thursday, an Italian high court reversed a prison sentence for British attorney David Mills, who was found guilty of taking a bribe to protect Berlusconi in 2009. The legitimate impediment bill was approved in Parliament with 316 votes in favour and 239 against. But the truth is it still needs the green light from the Senate and President Giorgio Napolitano before it becomes law, which means that today's protest seems a little out of place. Christine Legault, Press TV, Rome.